Hello friends, here we are with the next question of Code Vita Zone 2. That was basically Code Vita 2020 and the question M is binary equivalent. Well, it was a very easy question but it has few basic points that the student at times like they just uh, trap into a, they get stabbed into a maze like how to do this thing. And the thing is they know everything how to do it individually but they do not know how to connect with themselves. So, this was the only point that was there in this particular question. Otherwise, it is a very, very easy question. Okay, so let's just see how to do this particular question. What is the logic and its implementation in Python? My name is Anshal and you are watching our channel, The Insight Coders. So, let's begin. So you can see the question name is the binary equivalent. In this Mr. Binary is lost and wants to be found like this is just a story you can read yourself. Okay. Just pause the video and read it. Basically, we have a decimal number and what we want, whatever is the decimal number, we have to find the binary equivalent to the number. Okay. So binary basically means 0 and 1 only. So this was the only thing that you have to remember. Well, the constraints are like n is still 20 and the elements are 10 can go up to 1 lakh. But it's fine. Okay. Second thing. This is the input. Like first we have to get the input n. Then the n space separated elements. It is an easy task, not difficult. Okay. Like this was the input. But the important point is how to print the output, right? The output is a single line output printing the possible binary equivalents. Okay, we have a di uh, decimal number, say it's 3. So, binary equivalence is 1, 1. But the 1, 1 should be printed such that the number of digits in that particular number, it is equal to the number of bits present in the largest element. And largest element, it is the largest element of the second line of the input and that is basically this one. Okay. If it is not equal to the length, then simply append 0 in the starting of that number. Say in this particular question, it was 4 digit number. Since 3 is only 1, 1, so we just have to append 2 zeros before it. Okay, so just remember this point and let's just see the example. See the example is 3 and we have in given input 3 particular number. This is 2, 7 and 10. Okay, you just have to remember the output. It is 0, 0, 1, 1. I don't want to explain here. You can just pause the video and look at this solution. But I want to explain it in a better way. So let's just see that. See, first of all, the input was 2, 7 and 10, right? What we need to do, we just have to find the maximum number first. The maximum number is 10, right? So for the maximum number, we have to find its binary equivalent. The binary equivalent of 10 is 1010, 0, 0, right? So, what we need to do, we need to find the num length that is of this binary equivalent. Actually, it is equals to 4, right? So, everything, all the input is to be taken as 4 digits. The output is also to be taken as a 4 digit number, okay? So, this is a very important point here. So, first of all, what we did, we just calculated it earlier only, okay? As the beginning, at the initial step. Next thing. So, we were having two input, three inputs, two 7 and 10. What is the next task? Convert it into the binary equivalent but with one condition and the condition given in the question is the length of this binary equivalent should be equal to the length of the binary equivalent of 10 or I should say in general the largest or the greatest element. So in 10 it was 4. So what we need we need to represent this 2 as a binary equivalent, it is 1, 0. But we need to take it as the 4 digit number. So simply append 2 zeros in the starting. So this is the binary equivalent for 2 for this particular question. Next task. Count the number of zeros and the number of 1s. The, the number of zeros in this particular question was equals to 3. And the number of 1s was equals to 1. Now we just have to repeat the same task for the other two elements as well the second one was 7 the simple binary equivalent is 1 1 and 1 but it is a three digit number we need the four digit number so simply append one zero in the starting 
Now the number of zeros is equals to 1 and the number of 1s is equals to 3. The same way for 10. Say we have 10 elements then we would repeat the same task for all those 10 elements as well. So here 2 and 2. Second task. The second task is to find the, all the combinations that are possible for these three numbers. The combinations are first the single combinations 2, 7 and 10. Second one. 2 and 7, 2 and 10, 7 and 10. And the third one is when we take all three. So these are the possible combinations for this number. Similarly, we have to find all the possible combinations. Third task. The third task is we have to take these combinations one by one. First, I have just considered two. The binary equivalent according to this situation was 0, 0, 1, 0. We have to check the number of zeros and the number of ones. Since we have only one digit that is 2, so simply it is, we can see it is not equal. Repeat it for the second one, 7. It was 1, 0 and 3 times 1s. Again they are not equal, reject it. Third case, the third case was of 10. Right, in 10 the number of zeros were 2, same way the number of 1s were also 2 and they were equal. That means this is the first case that we have to accept. What we are accepting in these combinations, which combinations are there in which the number of zeros and the number of ones are equal. They were not equal in the first two cases, but it is equal in the third case. Fourth case. The fourth case is when we have two elements that is 2 and 7. Corresponding to 2, it was 0, 0, 1, 0 and corresponding to 7, it was 0, 1, 1, 1. And in this, we can simply take these values from here. 3, 1, 1, 3. Simply add the number of zeros. The number of zeros are 4. The same way the number of 1s are also 4. Since they both are equal, that means this is again one of the accepted state. The same task we just have to repeat for the next case. The next case is 2 and 10. So the number of zeros were 3 and 2, that is 5. But number of 1s are 3. Again, not equal. So simply reject. Same way for 7 and 10. Again, they are not equal. Simply reject. And then the last case, in this case, you can see they are equal. So what the students were doing mistake, they were not taking all of the zeros. You have to remember if the combination consists three digits, that is 2, 10 and 7. So the number of zeros in 2 plus number of zeros in 7 plus number of zeros in 10. That is equal to 3 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. Same way simply add for the 1s. It is again 6. If it is same. That means both are equal. Then simply accept it. Else just reject. So what is the output? What have we have to print? We have to print the number of pairs that were being accepted. 1, 2 and 3. That means from the total number of combinations that we have. From these combinations, only three particular combinations were there which were satisfying our condition. What was the condition? The number of zeros and the number of ones in particular, that combination must be equals to equals to both each other. Okay. And how to calculate the number of zeros and ones? They must be written in a format such that the length of the binary equivalent is always and always equals to the length of the maximum element of that particular thing. Right. So, this is the way that we have to go. Second thing, it is fine that we have calculated is 3. But you know 3 is written as 1, 1 or I, could, I should say 11. But we don't have to print 11 because it will show you the wrong answer and what to do. I just told you that please note the point how to print the output. To print the output, again the length should be equals to the length of the maximum element. And that was 4. So you have to append two zeros again, right? This is the point that you have to remember. So this is the solution to this particular question. Okay, let's just see what is the, how is its implementation in Python, right? See, the first of all, I just taken the input. Okay, for taking input, first of all, I just have to input in, then array. Since array was in space separated value, so I always tell you in my code beta series, the NPTQ series or in, in NQT or any of the series, 
I always have told you one thing. To take the space separated integers in Python, you either use the split function and you have to map it into the list, or secondly, just simply use the list comprehension. So mostly for 99%, I just use the map function. So you can use any one of that, right? Second task was we have to do everything in the length. What is the length of the binary equivalent of the maximum number? So simply what I am doing here, whatever is the length, what is the max number? from this array, I'm just taking it into the max, this variable, right? And I'm just converting it to the binary equivalent. And let me just tell you, for converting in Python, you have to just write this line and it is automatically converting the decimal equivalent to the binary equivalent, okay? This you will basically see in the formatting of print statement, okay? But still, if you want, you can also use an external function using def keyword and use that function every time. It's completely up to your choice. So it is giving me the binary equivalent of the maximum number that was 10 in this particular case and it will come in this max underscore bin. So this was the way it was giving me the length that was actually equals to 4, right? Second task. See, I'll be using a dictionary here. Let me just tell you why. Just a second. See, next task was whatever are the elements in this array, now just convert into the binary form, then count the number of zeros and ones, but before that, before counting, you need to append the number of zeros and ones according to the maximum element. So what we were doing, saying 2, we were having 1 0, but the length was 4, so simply we appended 2 zeros. Same way in 7, 1 0 was needed, right? So this is the task being done from here. Fine. Firstly, convert it into the binary form. If the length, as it was 10, it was length 2. If the length is less than the length of max bin, which was actually equals to 4, then simply find the difference of the length and how much zeros just append that number of zeros before the string. So for that, for concatenating, I'm just simply using plus. And if you have done the operations of Python, then you must have seen that for any of the sequence, if you want to repeat a particular string for n number of times, then you can simply use a star function. So I'm just repeating zero for difference. That means two in this case, one in this case, and in this case, I don't need to do that, right? The next task is to count the number of zeros and the number of ones after appending these zeros in the starting right and can you see I am just doing one thing in the dictionary side by side I am just appending those zeros and ones for that particular i that means i is the key what is i i was 2 7 and 10 for that particular keys I was appending the zeros and the ones right so this is a list next task next task was to find all the combinations so for that, I'm directly using iter tools. So how to find the combinations? So I'm just taking it to length. So in Python, if you know, array range is always taken for one extra, right? So if you know, the iter tools always find the combinations for r times, like one number of time for ones, like 2, 7, and 10 will come in one loop. So we are just taking in combinations underscore list like appending it or i should say extend it is the correct word to use extending it to the list that is known as all combinations right so what we are doing for length of two for length of three so for one two and three so what if i should say for the general one i should go for the length of the array right so this was the task what is the next task we have all the combinations. Now for these particular combinations, I have to see is the condition true or not. So this is the code for that. So what actually I am doing here, I have two variables which is actually equals to sum 0 and 1. So in my loop, what I am doing, every time I am initializing it with 0. Because I have to find the different for the See, it was like for every one I have to find whether it is 270, it is only 70, it is only 210. So every time I need to find that. So every time I'm just initializing it by zero. Now, what was the next task? Next task was to count the number of zeros. Say for 2, 7, and 10. So I need to calculate zeros. Say I here I have taken 2 and 7 only. 
द नंबर ऑफ जीरो इन टू वॉज थ्री बट इन सेवन इट वॉज वन so i'm just adding it to this variable sum underscore zero now it contains four same way i'll be adding ones it is again four now we are just checking is this condition true are both of them equal if yes then i have a counter which is actually global i'm just incrementing it right and once i did it i just have to print the number of count when this loop exit like overs right when it's terminated so this is the task we have to do and we have to repeat it for all the combinations so just initialize it with zero inside the loop right next task now in the count we have final answer that is actually 3 in this particular case now what to do again we have to print the 3 in the binary form right for binary form just a single line to convert it second thing if the length is less than 4 4 was the length of 10 then i just need to append the number of zeros so if you remember i have appended two zeros before this one one again the same logic find the difference append those particular number of zeros in front okay so i just concatenated using plus sign and finally just print it and if you don't want the presentation error then simply write comma and equals to empty double quotes Okay, let's just see its implementation in Python also. That is it perfectly working or not? So this is the code for that particular question that I have just shown you. It is the same code I am just showing you again. You can pause the video and look at the code. Okay. So what I am doing? So first I am writing three. It's two, seven, and ten. See, it's giving me the final answer, and the final answer is zero zero one one. Actually, I have used the print statement here. just for the debugging that is the reason it's also giving me the combinations 3 2 7 and 10 see it's giving me the correct answer but i want to see how is it actually working so here i have used various print statement just to debug it in a better way i'm just running it see here i am having 3 2 7 and 10 just pressing enter see first of all it has to generate a dictionary see what the dictionary is doing i am having a dictionary for 2 7 and 10 first thing is the number of zeros then the number of ones so when i just have to use it the name of the dictionary j is for the element it is 2 in the first case for 2 i want to find the zeroth index which is number of zeros and the first index which is actually number of ones every time just adding them to these variables and for the next case it just like what it used to do it just uh, like initialize it to zeros so this is the way like for 2 it was 3 and 1 7 it was 4 and 4 because it is adding every time right and the final answer is this it was just for debugging otherwise this is a actual code i should say okay i hope this uh, example is clear if still you have any doubt just let us know in the comment box and if you have any suggestions and feedback for us please tell us and the students who want to like would, who want us to publish their particular code on code vita channel the code which is absolutely working for the private and the public test cases please let us know either on the instagram telegram or through the mail everything is given in the description and if you like this channel please 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 subscribe the channel because it motivates us as well to make other videos